So, can you paint suppressors? Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And the question is, can you paint suppressors? Uh, there seems to be some debate on this topic. And this is a Sandman S that I have recently painted, uh, and I have a few more here to go through. And I painted it, I went out and shot it, and the paint did not, did not melt off. Um, it's, it's still here just fine, no problems whatsoever. This was on a 13.7 mid-length, uh, so if that matters to you at all, that's, that's what this was run on. And again, no problems yet. Uh, didn't run it super hard, I'll be honest, um, but again, no, no issues. Uh, this one here is a ACC K-Can. Uh, this is the Mini 4, uh, is what this is. And this sucker probably has, I'd say over a thousand rounds through it, painted. Um, it has more through it overall, but probably at least a thousand through it when it's been painted. And um, again, this one has been run hard. Uh, this one went to a rifle class. Um, and was shot, uh, this was uh, mounted on a 16 inch carbine length uh, rifle. And I will tell you that gun got so hot that the barrel got hot enough to melt some of the paint off, right? Cause I painted the whole gun with a can on it. The barrel got hot enough and some of the paint dripped off the barrel, but nothing came off the can. Uh, and that was at a rifle class with like 500 rounds uh, for the day. So, I mean, this one got, this one got run pretty hard and it's been run more since then. And again, the paint has all stuck. Now it's gotten chipped and guard and marred and whatever, that's gonna happen no matter what, right? But nothing has just like melt dripped off. Like it didn't get all hot and just completely come off. Um, it actually held up pretty well. Um, so I, I think that's, that's interesting. And then the last one here, this is the flow through can by Huxworks. Uh, or maybe they, they wear OSS suppressors, now they're Huxworks, the other way around, I can't remember. Whatever, this is the flow through can. And this one I painted semi-recently, and we went out and we put this on a gun with a bino lower, right? So it shot at a pretty high rate, and this had some get up and go to it, and again, didn't melt. I mean, I have multiple layers of paint on here, uh, that I've that I've done over right on the initial thing and none of them melted off none of them disappeared It still looks pretty new. You can see where I like had the tape mark there because I was trying to protect the uh, Paint from going into the suppressor, right? But you know that was just part of the paint job, but nothing has melted here, right? This is all pretty good and it's all just stuck around it. It looks it looks just like it's sat in my my safe um, so I think that at this point, the verdict is in for me that you can paint your suppressor. And I would even argue you should paint your suppressor. Um, you know, otherwise this is just a eight inch, you know, cylinder here that sticks out, right? It, it, it's identifiable. Not only that, guns, when they're all painted in, you do your whole gun and your can at the same time with the optic and the light and the laser and whatever, and you give it all the same pattern with whatever you're doing. I have multiple videos in this channel about painting rifles, so if you're interested in that, you can check those out. But there's, there's multiple, uh, when, you, when you do it all together, right? You put all the accessories on the gun, you tape off what you need to tape off, and then you paint it all, it all just blends together and it looks uniform. It looks really good. And you know, you, you gotta look good, otherwise what are we doing here? So I, I think there's a lot of value in painting the suppressor. I think it works. Again, I haven't experienced anything where it melts off. Now maybe someday if the Lord blesses me and I'm able to legally possess some kind of full auto whatever, that would be cool. And, and maybe then I'll change my opinion because I'll say, hey, when you're running 800 rounds through it in a minute, well then, you know, it doesn't hold up. <laughs> maybe that'll be the case. But for you, for me, for the everyday American guy who owns cans, who runs normal rifles, right? You should paint your cans. They're gonna hold up just fine. They're not gonna melt. Um, it's not gonna be a problem. Just paint that sucker and let it ride. I think another reason we should paint our cans is in general, as American Minuteman people, right? 
we want to blend. We want to take advantage of camouflage as much as possible. And sometimes that comes down to little details like painting your can, right? You want that gun to blend in. You want that can to blend in, blend in, and you want to do that with all of your gear that you can everywhere you can all the time so that you're taking as much advantage as possible about camouflage and blending in and not being seen. Because if you can't be seen, you're a lot harder to shoot at. I know that sometimes when it comes to painting a can, uh, it can hurt emotionally, right? Because this is my Dead Air uh, Sandman S, right? This was like $800 before the tax stamp. And I thought, I'm gonna rattle can this with like a $8 bottle of spray paint? Like, are you serious? But one, I'm really glad I did. And two, yes, because again, we're, think about the overall mission, the overall thing that we're trying to accomplish here, right? And that is because we want to blend in, because we have a, a greater goal in mind, we're, we're going to rattle can it with a $9 can of spray paint, uh, even though it's a very, very expensive device that, that feels precious to my heart because I paid a lot of money for it. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you some insight. Get out there, boys. Paint your cans. You'll be glad you did, and they'll look much cooler. Do brave deeds and endure.